Welcome back. Coming up next. I decided to buy and build this kit because I was curious about how I will handle the tiny scale. This is all the kit contents, two grey plastic sprues and a transparent one. Instructions are simple and straightforward. I start by painting the interior, this being the only detail that this scale permits. Or maybe not, but not for this bill. I used Viaco interior grey-green colour, applied in many layers, until I was satisfied by the result. After painting the interior, I cut off the fuselage halves and the wings. I prepared them sanding, dry fitting, then I glue them. As a glue, I used VMS fast or slow set glue depending on the situation. The fit was relatively good, little to none filler was needed, with the exception of wing roots. As you will see, I clean up the fuselage after gluing with a sharp blade. I rescribed the affected panel lines with a blade, then with a scriber tool when needed. I glue in place the canopy with the same VMS fast setting. I prepared also the propeller and checked the fitting.
Then I used the provided masks to prepare transparencies for painting. When needed, I used VMS liquid mask to cover the bubble canopy. The little airplane was ready to be painted, but not before some cleaning up with isopropyl alcohol. I primed the surface with Mr. Surfacer 1500 Black. The first colour I used was Viaco Middlestone. The scheme chosen for this airplane was used in North Africa campaign and, as you will see, has American markings. I didn't know it that US pilots used British-made Spitfires. I used stippling method to paint this colour as no pre-shading layer was present, by choice. I'm not a big fan of acrylic paints airbrushed, but with the help of Flow Improver, a retarder, I was managed to paint a few layers without big issues. Masking time. I scaled the camouflage scheme from the booklet using a multifunction printer, cut the separate colours of the camo with scissors, then glued the resulting mask with blue tack, a kind of poster glue.
After the masking was done, I painted the next camouflage color, the brown one. No surprises here. It was satisfying to see the result by removing the previously careful constructed paint mask. The blue tack is a little harder to get off the surface, but it comes itself to help me as you can see. The belly of the beast was next pre-shaded with white. The indicated colour for the underside was missing from my inventory, so I had to mix some lacquer colours from my shelf I use Hataka Intermediate Blue and Signal Blue in approximately the same ratio. I don't know if it is historically accurate, but maybe you will correct me in the comments down below. The propeller was painted by brush, using flat red for the nose and flat yellow for the tips. I started painting the rest of the details. I painted a cover for the previous British RAF marking over which the US marking decal will sit. After painting was done, I sealed all with a clear glossy varnish. 
The decals were okay, no trouble at all in setting them on a glossy surface. The decal setting solution used was from Ammo MIG. I gently pressed the decal on the surface with the help of a cotton bud after the setting solution was dry. I then sealed the decals with the same glossy varnish. Then I started the weathering using Tamiya panel line black first on some panel lines that should have a black line over. I broke the decal that was supposed to be there. I used a hairdryer to speed up the drying time. I clean up the excess wash with white spirit. For the rest of the upper surfaces panel lines I use brown wash. For the underside, I use Ammo Big Panzer Grey Wash. After drying, I used paper towel with white spirit to clean up the excess. After a day or so, the wash was dried and was time to give the plane a final matte coat of varnish. Then I removed the canopy mask.
put the antenna wire. Not filmed that operation, unfortunately. And now the result. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did building this little bird. Give the video a thumb up if you liked it, and subscribe to be notified on any future video that I will release. I will try to post more frequently from now on. See ya, bye.